Grown man business. Got another episode of Red Ghost Sports Talk. I'm your host, Red Ghost. Uh, yeah, it's been a rough weekend for me. It's been a rough weekend for me, baby. Uh, it's been a rough football season for me. I'm not gonna lie, man. My teams are making me look a little rough around here. A little like I don't know what I'm talking about. But, uh, it's all good. We're gonna make it do what it do. Yeah, had to, had to do the long. There we go. We gotta make it do what it do. All right. Yeah, this is Red Ghost Sports Talk, baby. I'm your host, Red Ghost. <sighs> we, had a, we had an exciting um, football Sunday, though. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Monday, night, <laughs> Monday night football was good as well. But first, I wanna talk about, yeah. My Denver Broncos. <sighs> Magic Man. You got me. You got me this time, homie. You got me this time, homie. You got me this time, homie. Yeah, I'm mad. But uh, yeah, Denver Broncos. Uh the confused Denver Broncos. For the backup quarterback. Who's, is that Mark Rippin's son? That's Mark Rippin's son, right? Uh, yeah, I believe it is Mark Rippin's son. Like, we had uh, Jim Kelly's nephew. They didn't give him a chance. Uh, we should have kept him. Uh, but he was a he was another uh, Johnny Menzel. He was another Johnny Football. He was like a rock star. He, he partied so much and... He did a lot of stuff off the field, so they, they didn't want to tolerate that. So that's the reason why he's not there anymore. But yeah, we have um, Mark Rippin's son as the quarterback last night. He did pretty good. He did all right. Um, yeah, he did all right. I don't know what we're going to do for the, the quarterback position. We spent, what, $300 million on Russell um, Wilson? I'd rather that 300 million had went to Aaron Rodgers, but he didn't. He didn't use his noggin. He wasn't thinking on that one. And yeah, he's crying and paying for it right now, because uh, Green Bay is is pretty much, I think, worse than the Denver Broncos right now. We're gonna talk about that in another video. I'm, I might make that my next video. I want to talk about Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers, our the NFL OGs that's having a rough time this season. And I'm another OG that's having a rough time this season because my Denver Broncos, I don't like that coach. I'm going to keep saying that. All right, let's get this video on and over with. <laughs> Denver Broncos, New York Jets, Red Ghost, Magic Man. Yeah, the Jets are 5-2 and two now, and uh, Denver Broncos is 2-5. and five. Who would have thought that? Especially this year. So, Magic Man, congrats. Your team is doing good, man. They're getting better and better each week. Unfortunately, their number one player, um, number one rookie, I think he would have been the, the rookie of the year. He remind me of a little bit of Adrian Peterson and uh, Marshall Falk mixed in together. But uh, what's his name? Bryce or uh, uh, Brees Hall. Yeah, he, he suffered, a, I believe it was a, ACL and uh, he injured his meniscus, so uh, he will be out for the rest of the season. That's unfortunate. I'm sorry for the brother. He was exciting to watch. I liked I, I liked him. I definitely like watching him. Um, that's a big piece that's missing. They I believe there's enough talent on the Jets where they can fill that void, but it's just still unfortunate that they lost a good player. And he was really making a name for himself this year. He was making a big statement for himself and the Jets. Um, congrats to the coach. This is what his second year. You know, he was the defensive coordinator for uh, San Francisco 49ers when he went to the Super Bowl and lost. But um, he he's turning that, that franchise around over there in New York, man. The, the the New York Jets are really looking like a contender. And just man, I love that defense, man. On our side, Denver Broncos side, our defense is still looking good. Um, 
Melvin Gordon did pretty good. Um, the, court, the quarterback did pretty good. I, I don't, some of the play calls I'm not liking. I'm just going to be honest. Uh, I know y'all watched last night on Monday Night Football with uh, New England Patriots and Chicago Bears. Chicago Bears threw a, what's that, a bubble screen? And ran it into the, for a touchdown. It's, it's just that easy. Every time, you get that every time. If you execute it right, you got a, touch, uh, you got a touchdown and a first down at least. We're not doing that enough. The Broncos are not doing that enough. And that was our foundation when Peyton Manning came over. They have to get back to that right there. Because uh, Judge Judy is going off so much. He's going off so much that they are, they are back 20 yards back because of him. The safeties, the quarterbacks are backing up from him. Cause they they don't want to get burnt. They don't want. He is just too fast. After he catches the ball, he's gone. So they are running back twenty yards back already. They are trying to eliminate the deep passes. So what we have to do when they do that is we have to kill them with screens, running back screens, bubble screens, wide receiver screens, tight end screens. We could do a double and a fake screen is what they've been doing. Act like they're gonna throw this way and turn around, and throw the next way, or you know, give us some exotic screens where they think you're gonna get a, a wide receiver screen and they dump it off to the tight end. We need to do more of that. We have to get our tight ends involved more because they are valuable. They, those guys, they have some speed, they have some length, uh, and they have some good hands. So, uh, all right, that's that's it with that. that I'm I'm just. <laughs> I was going to make a video yesterday I said no I just want to end the week off with a Monday Night Football Which was a great game I will talk about that in my next video We will, we will talk about New England Patriots As a 